Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to use Canva for your 360 overlay designs. In this video we're going to go over just the basics of simply just a walkthrough of Canva and how you can set up Canva to do your 360 overlays. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is go to uh, touch picks and I'm already in the designer. Uh, section. So one important thing that we're going to need uh, for Canva uh, is going to be in here, the uploads. So from the uploads, if we go to custom overlays and hover over this, uh, you're going to see the dimensions that we need for our Canva uh, designs. So one thing that I would recommend doing is taking a screenshot. Um, if you download them, they're going to be the PSD files, which are Photoshop files. Uh, I personally like to use Photoshop for my designs, but this video is catered to people that want to use Canva and, um, you know, they just want to use that design platform. All right, so if you're not sure on how to take a screenshot, um, I'm using an iMac right now or any Apple computer. It'll pretty much be the same thing. You can press Command, Shift, and 4 at the same time and then you get this little uh, crosshair um, so from here you can move it around like a mouse but I want to click and drag on the area that you want to take a screenshot of so I just want to get that and then here's my screenshot so I'm going to drop it in so that way it opens up like a new tab so from here uh, you can get the design uh, pixels so uh, that's going to be just the the dimensions so uh, the popular ones that I see a lot being used are template one and template four for touch picks you know it's going to be pretty similar with a lot of these 360 uh, programs but touch picks is just the popular option at the moment so let's go ahead and start off with uh, template number one which is 1072 by 1440 pixels. So back into Canva, uh, what we want to first do, oh, and keep in mind that you're going to need Canva Pro to be able to do a lot of uh, the features that, um, such as like transparent backgrounds, um, that's like a big plus. You're going you're gonna to need the Canva Pro option or subscription. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and go to create a design. And then what I like to do, so you can go through all these right here, but it's best to do, just do a custom size. So within the custom size, I already have it um, as a recent, so I'm gonna just choose that one. But uh, what you can do is you can type in 1072 by 1440. And then we have pixels, PX. So you can click on create a new design, or I can just click on one of the recent ones. Okay, so now we're in the design section for Canva to go ahead and start designing our overlay. Um, this video, in this first part, I'm not gonna really go into any design um, for the here. Um, I'm just gonna be kind of giving you a walk through uh, the different uh, options that they have in Canva. All right, so um, what we want to do on the left hand side is if you click on file, you can rename your design. So let's say we're doing this for a wedding coming up. You know, whatever name is going to be a good reference for you, you can just type that in right there. Um, you have your rulers, your guides, so if you need kind of like a reference to go off of, you can just bring those up. So guides are going to be like if you want to drag this out, uh, just somewhere where you can start off with. So if you want to drag in an object and you want to just keep it lined up with this guide here, you can do so. Uh, a lot of these other ones you don't really have to worry about, uh, like print bleed, that's for if you're printing out the design, 
which these are going to be on videos so this doesn't apply uh, and then down here are going to be your download make a copy let's say you wanted to for some reason you want to do a different a different one like as you're designing this uh, maybe you're in communication with your your client or your customer uh, and you want they just want to do a different design so um, 10, 1920 by 1072 maybe they like that layout a little bit better so what I can do is go to resize and then just put in the new dimensions and go to resize okay um, <laughs> if for some reason maybe they just want to go back to the previous one you can do undo and that takes you back to the previous um, redo it's going to take you back to this one so that's going to be your undo and redo um, you can see here it's got a little command and Z so if I were to press command Z on my keyboard it takes me back and then the other one is going to be uh, this this little shortcut all right so um, back here on the left we have your templates so these are all like pre-made uh, graphics that you can use so this would be a good one uh, right now this is the month of October so this would be probably a good one to use uh, to get kind of get started um, if you scroll down you can see some other little things on here and these are things that you can just kind of pick apart so you don't have to use the whole entire thing you can just pick apart whatever they did and just grab the 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 objects or the graphic that you like so this would be a good way to start out if you're not too sure on where to get graphics from uh, in the elements you have a bunch of um, little elements that you can choose from that Canva gives you which is pretty cool uh, you got lines, shapes these are just some that I was uh, trying out you have your square um, circle these are just like suggestions on what to choose you have graphics a lot of different options that you can use uh, for these uh, overlays and then coming down here you have uploads so these are just examples that I was trying out um, while using the Canva tools so if you have your customers uh, photo you can put that in here and remove the background um, fairly easily then you have your text so you have some pre-made um, text that you can use that have like little uh, design to them so it kind of helps you in that aspect um, then you have your your backgrounds so a bunch of different backgrounds that you can choose from uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve for this overlay design it's always good to uh, talk with your client that's uh, hiring you for the event so that way uh, both of you are on the same page of uh, what's going to be the outcome for each 360 session and then you have this more option uh, probably not going to get into this right here we're mostly going to just be focusing on the templates elements uploads um, and text uh, not so much in the backgrounds uh, just mostly these options here okay um, then we have on the right hand side you have a few things uh, let's say let's just go ahead and pull in an element real quick uh, maybe uh, we'll pull in this leaf here so let's say we're messing with this one um, we have a few different options up here you have your transparency so brings the transparency down you know if you had another leaf on here 
uh, let's say we want to bring this leaf on top of the, the red leaf. We can go position and bring forward. So now it's on top. And if we change the transparency back up to 100, you can see that it's on top now. So that's your position, your transparency. And then you can copy the style to apply it to other graphics as well. Um, you can lock the layers. So like, let's say you don't want to do anything with this one or you don't want to be able to click on it by accident. You can just lock it. And then that way you can't do anything to it. So um, that's it. That's always a good one because maybe there's something that you just don't want to touch. You don't want it to uh, move around. You like, you like where it's at. You don't want anything to be uh, messed with. You can just lock it. Um, if you like this little red leaf, you can just duplicate it a few times, make them smaller versions, and then just resize by or rotate. So your mouse does have to be at certain points. So if I were to rotate, I have to rotate here. If I want to move, I have to hover over this option to move. And then you have your delete. Um, on the left over here, uh, you have your crop. You can flip it. So you can flip it horizontal, vertical. Uh, info, um, you can animate it. So these are pretty cool to um, kind of give that effect. Uh, for your 360s but in the next video I'm um, gonna be just doing a simple um, not not too not too basic but uh, like a nice little maybe wedding or birthday overlay um, <clears throat> and then you have your colors here so I'm just gonna click off of that you have your colors so you can change the color of that leaf there so if you want a certain part to be that gray maybe you wanted the this to be purple and this one like that um, there's other options that you can use like remove dot bg if you want to use this uh, tool to remove your background uh, canva does have an option to remove the background in here um, but this one might be a little bit more customizable. You just have to pay uh, per image, I believe. And then if you don't like the graphics that are within Canva, I would recommend you can get some graphics from uh, creativemarket.com. I'll put these uh, links in the description so that way you guys can click on them and uh, check them out for yourselves. So you do have to pay, but you do get the license for the graphics, so that way you can use it in multiple different uh, overlays. And there's a lot of stuff in here. But I believe that's going to be it for in this video. Um, I just want to give like a rundown of what things we're going to be using for the overlays, and just to kind of give you a little head start. Uh, for the next video. All right, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for that one.